Hi, you see me, TGG, and welcome back to another video. Where today we're gonna be reading through oh my God. this 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 script. It's a script read through that I created called Abiding Fate. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta cast everyone. So Alex isn't here. Sorry. So who wants to fill in? You're still here. It's you cannot stop. Oh, my name is Harold. I have a deep voice. Why is he I'm British? Wanna, he actually is British. Like if you wanted that. Oh, sure. I'm back. Right. I'm back. I'm back. What are we doing? Okay, awesome. I put you down as student too, so you're gonna have to talk with yourself at one point. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Epic. About your main characters, besides just the people you're filling in for today as extras, click on the document and find your character. Okay, gotta find Brad Nathaniel Looking and the, the bilateral yes, like there's demon. Only four of them. Chad okay. Daniel, very similar to Chad Daniel. Please read oh. it in your head. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while I'm you guys a rich read these, stereotypical teen. Anyway, while you guys read these, I will explain what this actually is. Hi. Reading my two descriptions of Bilateral and Brad Nathan, I'm confused but intrigued. That's good, that's what you should be. Okay, okay. so we have four main characters here. Chad Daniel, Brad Nathaniel, Felicity Plum, and the Bilateral. So no, no, wait, 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 no. I can only be the main character. Yes. So... <laughs> So, if you are very much confused after reading these descriptions, that is fine. You are supposed to be. The whole point of this is you wow. guys have absolutely no idea what's going on in this story. So, at the end of each episode, there'll be five of them total. Um, they'll be coming out between now and New Year's. Oh, that's cool. cool. Five of them. You got them all, like, planned out and stuff? Yes. Wow. All of them. Have and they will, the story will progress with time in our world. So as time goes by in our world, it will be going on in this fictional world. Make sense so far? Chad, I can't believe COVID's over. We don't have to wear masks anymore. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Chad! After each episode, you know, we can kind of think about reactions and predictions for where the story will progress. Of course, I know how it ends, but that's fine. I'm just like the stage director extra in this story. Um, everyone so cool? So it's like... It's like a video game, because part of it, we don't know how it's going to end. All read up on their main characters, besides yes. the extras. Okay. And I'm student one, the most important character, so. Yes. Does that mean we can start? I think yeah. so. Okay, so the aim is to do this in one take, which is no pressure. If you mess up a line, you can redo it. Just the point is, we're not recording separately. We're not editing it all together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. Simple enough, I guess. Yes. If I see at least one cut, I'm canceling you. <laughs> canceled. Okay. Well, like this text. Canceled. The story yet to be told is one rarely spoken truth of fate. To have all the facts and yet not understand. To know that letting go is inevitable, but to exhaust all our strength holding on anyway. Abiding fate is the reminder to never let this notion disappear out of you. That the long-lasting fate of humanity is as it always was. To understand it and live by it. Our tale begins in a microscopic area of the universe called planet Earth. House, simple by comparison of understanding decisions, but complex compared to, say, a pencil. Not a suburban house with comparatively small rooms and only two or three floors. And not an old mansion, but a new, modern mansion with many outside patios and staircases. The many windows lit up with the newly cracking light of dawn as it reflected off the pool outside. Abruptly, a voice filled the quiet house. Harold! Harold! Oh no, this is bad. Oh my god. Lily, that's you. Okay! <laughs> Sorry. Did you call me? Sammy, that's you. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. Uh, yeah, I need your help. Is everything okay, my boy? You aren't ready? No, no Harold. I, oh, no, I'm a screwed man, dude. Oh, mm. Calm down. What seems to be the issue? Oh, where is it? Where, it? where is it? Oh, you can't find something? I'll be... Duh. Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't be looking around like a lost child. It's okay. I can run to the store to get you new. No, no. Jeez, oh, Harold. You're so... I need it today. 
I I see, sir. Uh, uh, maybe. Just just please go start the car. We don't pay you for nothing, do we? Right. I'm sure your camera will show up. What cam? What? I have my. I, what are you talking about? Oh, what <laughs> is it you're looking for? I don't know. My will to live. No, Harold. I'm looking for my bin of snacks. I was gonna bring them into class today. Oh, apologies, my boy. When you were freaking out, I thought it was a little bit important then. This is important to me, Harold. It's for my homeroom class. There's at least five kids from my Batman team here, and I haven't done anything crazy in homeroom lately, so I need to... Oh, what's... What's I should the... probably put on a British accent, right? You can if you want. Alright. My teen status? <laughs> Unlike you, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Goofy. <laughs> Unlike you, Harold, I don't have to worry about status. Well, your unmistakable effort seems to say otherwise. That's just because it's more effort than you've ever done. Ha ha ha! I have to say, my boy, you. Please, don't say it, my boy. It's weird. I see. I will. Miho, why have you not left yet? Miho, why have you not left yet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. I can play all the characters. <laughs> Mama, no puedo encastar la comida. It's already, it's already in the car, along with your. I don't know why that was Indian. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's already in the car, along with your Batman stuff and the books for. Oh, gracias, Mama. 17 years and you're still three steps ahead of me. Of course. Ahora ve, you'll be late. Do you have anything else you need? Well, pretty sure I definitely don't need a golden statue of a monkey, so we better go before Mama puts that in the car, too. Good call. You never know when you might need a lucky monkey one day. I'm pretty sure I don't. No, what you don't need is that awful necklace. Or a Venezuelan tree, and yet here we are. <laughs> that was one time, mijo. Ahora ve, we will be late. Vamonos. Even if I am late, I doubt it'll make much of a difference. No see me in Taro Yeso. Goodbye, Mrs. Daniel. Adios, have a good day. Adios, mama. Hasta pronto. See, si. okay. See that was on. great. That's <laughs> my favorite scene. I did so much Mike, there. you can't even call yourself a main character. You haven't had a single line in the first scene. Okay, whatever. I bet I have a lot of lines in the second one. What? Maybe, you know. Well, guess uh, what my... Oh my person. god, you have none in the second one. Well... Well, my student one. A student one speak. That's well. my big break. I'm gonna we'll have see, nothing we'll again. So, any thoughts I'm looking so at the whole document right so now. Um... I'm liking where the story is going. I like the character I have. It really suits me. It's even confusing I'm not so rich. far, but it's not bad. Cool, cool. cool. I like It'll the fact become that I'm in more confusing. Mexican. Don't worry. Mm. Oh wow, great. Okay. Oh wow. Scene two. Oh, yeah, I'm not... Bell rings. Bring. <laughs> hey, Miss Ruth. Good morning, Chad. I brought snacks for everyone. Want one? No thanks. I better not. I wholeheartedly agree. Oh yeah, and I was so worried about that last test on Friday. I really think... Oh, don't worry, Chad. Between you and me, you got a 105. Yo, what up, Chad? Hey, hey, you going to the game later? Of course I am. Alright, nice. Here, take some Doritos. Thanks, man. I mean, honestly, you must have studied for hours. Yeah, something like that. Well, you can go hand out your things. Mm. How'd you have time? I didn't study at all. Nice. You still coming to practice later? <laughs> practice? I know my routine left and right. Yeah, I know. You should come entertain us. You know, I don't have to perform right. It's my choice. Yeah, I know. All right, you've convinced me. <laughs> all right, then. See you later. All right. <laughs> All right, everyone, have a seat. Take out your binders and notes from yesterday. We're continuing on the French Revolution. Can I summarize last class? Sure, but make it quick. No, don't. He's going to say something really stupid. No, I promise. It's a very thorough summary. Mm, doubt.
Okay, okay. The French chopped off so many people's head that the people got mad, revolted, and chopped off their heads. Well, <laughs> technically he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Claire. That actually helped a lot. They revolted because of their discomfort with the economic situation in France. Thank you! Wait. That's the word. <laughs> Thank you! Can I add to that? Uh, sure. I don't see why not. So, the thing we all hate and yet don't deal with yet? Taxes. And something that doesn't exist anymore? Social inequality. Says you. Th philosophers and their new ideas. Light bulb! Things can be different than what they've... Things can be different than what they've always been. Financial crisis. Oh no, there's no money. And finally, bread. Who doesn't love bread? Well, now pay us $100 and you can have your bread back. Which I'm sure made some of you just think I'm a certain person. Marie and you, the person. Oh, okay, I don't know. What I'm Antoinette? <laughs> Let me cake, said to give her servants all cake because none of them could actually afford bread. You know, you could just t take my job. Thank you, Chad. Of course. I have a better memory than some people. It's a gift. Yeah, I'd hate to be the person that gets showed up by Chad. Yeah, it's too bad I hate to be that person who sits alone at lunch. Unluckily, I'm not. <laughs> wow, Great acting you... in that scene. <laughs> that was a beautiful scene, guys. Uh, not yet. Scene three. Okay. Velocity. Hey, Felicia. No, I need to do the stage direction. Wait. Oh. <laughs> we move over to the football field. It's the end of the school day. A girl is waiting at the edge of the track. Felicity. Hey, Felicity. Huh? I'm a stars. Hi. Why do you sound so surprised? Oh, it's nothing. I just thought we were going to be late. Come on, Fez. You know I'm never late. Well, yeah, but I also know you're super busy. Anyways, how's it? Anyways, how's it going? Could be better. What about you? You know me. I'm always chilling. Oh, stand still. There's a bee. What? Where? It's okay. It's not that close to you. Yeah, but it's a bee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're okay. It's gone now. It was a bumblebee. I know. I'm so sorry. I can't control my fear. It's alright, no one can. Except maybe me. I never seem to get scared for some reason. I seriously doubt that. <laughs> Anyways, what are you reading? Oh, it's called Fitting Existence. It just came out recently. Let me see. This came out three years ago. I thought it was familiar. You were reading it when I first met you. Uh-huh, but this is the second edition. Uh-huh, a sequel. Yeah, so many people do that, you know. Work hard enough to actually make something of their lives. Yeah, sounds boring. <laughs> well, maybe to you, but not to me. I'm going to start my own business one day. Selling what? I'm not sure yet. Maybe you should go into costume making. You already make cosplays. Yeah, maybe. What about you? I'll probably go into running my father's business and take over for him. But, is that what you want? I... Well, I mean, I'll get to keep living the way I do now, so yeah, of course. Oh, well, I've got you here. I just remembered. I've been super worried about this project I have. Oh, no problem. I can help you. Just ask me anything. You don't even know what it's about yet. Doesn't matter. Whatever it is, I'll know the answer. I don't need answers. I just need advice. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to finish it on time. I just have so many other things to worry about, and I feel like... With everything going on, every day just keeps... Okay, okay, Fez. It's okay. You got a lot of work and you're overwhelmed. You feel like there's not enough time. That's okay. Just hang in there. Maybe listen to different shows in the background while working so you get to experience new shows while still doing the same schoolwork every day. Find new ways to live. Thanks. That actually really helped. No problem. I'm great at that. <laughs> Why do I drop my last? <laughs> Right, okay. Scene four. scene four. Constant lightning and thunder in the background. Brr, boom. Mike, can you do the sound effects for us? The sound effects are there. A lot of them are just the when, ones at the beginning. Just the lightning and thunder. Whenever you feel like it, just throw it in there. It's cool. Got it. I will. <laughs> Wait, I gotta come up with a good language. 
Boop. Hey, mom. Are you on? Sorry. Are you on your way home? Yeah, I'm on my way home. Just decided to take a walk through the field. Howard is waiting in the usual spot. Do you know which car he took? No. Did he take a different car? Yes, it's a blue Ferrari. Blue Ferrari. Got it. Okay. How's the weather? Are you alright? No, weather's fine. I mean, there's some thunder, but no rain yet. I heard you... I heard... Sorry. <laughs> I heard you saw Felicity. Is she alright? Yes, Mom. She's okay. Cuando te ves casar? Mama, we're only friends. Hi, bien. Does she have a ride home? Yeah, she lives on the outside of the woods with her grandfather. She walks home. She'll be all right. No gusto eso boques. There's all sorts of creatures in there. Nah, ma. It's fine. She'll be all right. She knows how to handle herself. Bien. Get home safely. Si, mama. Hasta pronto. Adios, mijo. Boop, boop. Not my shut up. Shut up. I'm literally the thunder guy, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Who are you, Zeus? What? Adios mio. Why is everything but what just happened? Scene five. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye. Boop. What? Oh, I'm still in the field. Ha hey, could could you tell me what just happened? W where did you come from? It doesn't matter. Anyway, did you just see anything? Hello? Are you ignoring me? All right, that's fine, man. Porque my body hurts. Hey, Harold. Harold? Oh, yeah. Hey, Harold. Hello, my boy. What did I say about calling me that? Honestly, it's not that hard to remember. Hey, Harold. You won't believe this. <laughs> hey, Harold. What's going on? Hey, Brad. What is it? Bra no, I'm Chad. Remember? Okay, so you know the first right by the field. What? Yes, the Fellas Forest. Can you see me, Harold? Yeah, that one. Anyways, what are we doing just sitting here? Let's go. I've got places to be. Yes, sir. Well, Harold, Harold, listen to me. Dude, I, I don't know who you are, but get out of my car. Anyways, so, I was walking through to come home from school, okay? Okay. Brad. Hey, Harold! <laughs> Harold! <laughs> and there's this random deer, right? So, Harold, come on. Harold, this stop it. To you. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Where are you going? Who is this guy, Harold? Right home then, so. Yeah, step on it. Stop ignoring me. Okay, look, I'm sorry for being rude. Just please tell me what the heck is going on. <laughs> <laughs> it passed through the car. What? It passed through me. You got it, so. What is going on? Someone please help! What seems to be the issue? Oh, jeez, you scared me. Can you see me? I can see all. You said you needed help? Okay, weirdo. Uh, yeah, what on earth is going on? Well, the answer to that is quite simple, you see. You died. Uh, what? Why? Well, you were struck with lightning. I thought that wasn't likely to kill you. Well, usually 11% of people die from lightning, so... Okay, okay, how do I get back? You don't. That's why it's called death. The end of life. No, n no one tells me what I can and can't do. There has to be some way back. I can answer any questions you might have. How do I get back? Except stupid ones. Oh, really? You have two minutes left. Till what? One minute fifty-seven. Okay, okay, um... Why can nobody see me, and why can you? You are dead. That doesn't answer either my qu- Are you know- uh, Who is Brad? 
You are Brad. Brad is you. Okay, what? No. You are the main character in your life. Main character is... Oh my gosh, he's the main character of Christmas. Yes! Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're the main character in your life. Main characters cannot die. However, you did. So, Brad took your place. He's the main character of your life now. My life isn't a movie. I'm irreplaceable. Any of you think for one second that Brad can be half as awesome as me? I am. Brad is you. Your brain has been copied into his. There are no differences, and those around you cannot sense it. And how do you know all of the- Who are you? I am the bilateral, and it has never been otherwise. It's never been otherwise. <laughs> that doesn't an- what, Bilateral? Okay, what does that mean? Silence. Okay, I see how this goes. 30 seconds. To what? Silence. Again, how great. So what am I supposed to do here? Watch. Is that all there is after death? No, there is more. Then what? I am very busy. I will be back in a week to check up on you. No, no, wait. What am I supposed to do? What do you mean check up on me? Until my return, you are free to do whatever you wish. The world is yours as you see it, and so be it. Have fun. Fun? No, come back! What am I- Ugh! Great, that's just my luck. Killed by lightning, I don't accept this. Why would I be trapped in the life of watching someone else live mine? Nobody else can live my life better than I can. Actually, actually, if I can do anything I want, might as well watch my own life. Because that way, at least, I'll enjoy myself. Chad, surrounded by darkness, stands still. He can do nothing but watch, as one square of the box he feels trapped in shows him the outside world. Almost as if a stage, he is the audience. His own life that he feels he should be living is the show. What he never expected was the hate he would feel at watching another person steal his spotlight. It should be his, after all. The bilateral is long gone, off to help another person who has stumbled into their fate. Accepted by some, ignored by others. Chad, who has always gotten his way, is not used to impermanence, is lost. Like so many others who lose sight of importance, or like the rest who lose sight of the unimportance. Whatever it be, it is everlasting. Scene 7, nope. are you ready? <clears throat> oh my god, my big break. Okay. Scene 7. Hailed! Hailed! Sorry. Uh, 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 uh. Hailed! Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I, wow, heaven's interrupting the main character. Scene 7. Hailed! Hailed! How may I help you, sir? I can't find my phone. What? I would never lose my, my phone. I believe it was lost in the car, sir. I don't care. I'll just track oh. using one of my <laughs> other ones. Oh my god. Very well, sir. Now, go start the car. I don't want to be freezing when we leave. Yes, sir. Uh, you're saying it all wrong, my guy. You have to be more like me. Me, Holo. Why have you not left yet? Is this just yesterday all over again? Ugh, Mom, stop tailing me all the time. I know when I need to leave. You don't tell me what I can or can't do. You may be in high school, but you are still my child. I know that, Mama. I... Well, I wish I wasn't someday. Stop worrying all the time. I'm fine. Okay, mi amor. Be safe, then. Oh, huh. Didn't think she would respond that way. Noted. Do you have your baseball bat? Right here. Oh, wait, baseball? Oh, is badminton not cool enough? Oh, screw you, universe. Alright, ready to go, sir? I'm already halfway out the door trying to catch up, but I doubt you can. Why do I? <laughs> that was a good one, me. Alright, let's go. Oh, I got to walk to school, don't I? Well, so much for being dead. Ring, 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 ring. All right, Brad, Jake, and Hannah, please sit down for just a moment. Thanks. So, to change topics a bit today, we're we're gonna look at World War Two. Just it's getting to be May, so I figured we'd switch the topic a bit since all of you seem to be pretty pretty interested in that. All right. Yes, I love World War Two. Well, mm, learning about it, not. Anyway, this will be fun. 
So, to start us off, can anyone tell me who signed the first surrender of Germany and when? May I? Oh, perfect. I know this. Sure, go ahead, Brad. Joseph Stalin on May 8th, 1945. What? No! That is incorrect. He was involved, but no. What? I know the answer. He never even signed anything. It was General Alfred Jodo on the 7th. Why did I get that wrong? No, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Sorry, but you are incorrect, Brad. It's okay. We all know history isn't your best subject anyways. History isn't what now? Yeah, but I'd rather at least give it a try. That way people pay attention to me more because I put in effort. Whatever, dude. I thought this guy was supposed to be me. Why are all these small things different? Uh, it's not fun. Also, where was the snarky comeback? I know I have my off days, but honestly, not even a small joke? Come on, Brad, you can do it better. If you're going to live my life, at least do it better. I don't care if I'm living it or not. Cut to football field. Hey, Brad, how was school for you? <laughs> it's pretty good. Got a 105 on my chemistry test. I was kind of hoping for a 110, but that's okay. Oh, so it's chemistry, not hymnus? <laughs> Hemis, Thomas, Thomas. My, it's my favorite subject, chemistry. Oh, so it's chemistry, not history. Ser what on earth? Oh yeah, so I'm a project in English. Oh yeah, that. You got it. It'll be okay. Yeah, but I was kind of hoping you. Just relax. I actually also have a project due, but for Italian. You'll probably get to work on that. So thanks for reminding me. Yeah, no problem, I guess. But I was going to ask you for help. With what? My English project. Oh yeah, go ahead. Do you have a book on character study? Uh, yeah, I'll let you borrow it. Anyways, so, there's a bee near you, but I was going to head over to- Is that what I was ask? Wait, a bee? Yeah, a bee. Not again! Oh god! Relax, it won't hurt you. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just can't control my fears. Uh, oh, you just gotta get over it. It's actually not that hard once you give it a good shot. Okay, yeah, whatever. Just, is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Another B? That was weird. Probably, definitely a repeat of yesterday. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks. Oh, I just remembered. Actually, I actually have a project to finish, so I might head just head home. I thought she finished a project yesterday. I thought you finished just yesterday. Yeah, no, my English project. Uh, okay. Have fun hanging out in the cabin with the old Kruger. Hey, he's not that bad. You know, whatever, Brad. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. And if you can, try and catch my stream. Oh my god, I'm a Twitch streamer now. Stream? Gonna go live and... Still stream? You're not Chad, Lily. Oh my god. <laughs> Lily Chad. <laughs> Lily Daniel. <laughs> Stream? I'm gonna go live in about 30, hoping to get at least 100k there. Okay, see you later. Stream? Oh, why do I have... This is gonna be a long week. And that brings us to the end. Boom. Okay, so, any final thoughts on this, the script, in general? Uh, I think, I think it's Brad is a douche. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, oh, the story. I'm curious. I'm intrigued. I'm liking it a lot more now. I finally underst like now reading back the thing was like Brad are very similar. Now I understand. Oh, why now yes. Brad's similar? Duh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Um. Okay. So, finally, any predictions? Because there's four more episodes after this. <laughs> predictions. Okay. Uh, what I think is gonna happen. Is that I'm gonna beat up the biateral into giving him my life back? <laughs> okay. And biateral. Then... Um, maybe like, maybe uh, the whatever the heck his name is, the guy who met Chad in like whatever the world is. Bilateral. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think maybe he's gonna give Chad a chance to turn back all his mistakes or something like that. Um, hmm, the bilateral definitely is interesting. Maybe the bilateral. This is gonna be back in a week. 
Um, Cloud's gonna live through this life. Well, he's dead though. But maybe like. No, I'm not. He. I'm always alive. You're literally dead. If the bilateral no, says can it. Can I still talk? Huh? You're dead. So it says how no, you can't. No, you can't, can't get talk. back. Well, cause you're in like dead world. It's. I mean, it's like Christmas Carol. How you? I'm mentioned. in like dead world. Yeah. <laughs> like dead world? You've never Whoa, been to dead dude. world, bro. Never been to dead world, bro. bro. That's crazy. I really don't know. Maybe he'll get back at some point, but if he gets back, he won't replace Brad. Maybe Chad and Brad would both be there, and they'd be like, Whoa, I'm you! Whoa, I'm you! And maybe alternate universes will collide on December 17th, 2021. Who knows? How do you know the exact date? I was making a joke. <laughs> so I want to say thank you to you guys for all your acting. You like brought life to these characters in a way I hadn't thought of, which was really cool. Um, even especially for having no idea what you were doing and just learning about the characters tonight. I think that was really awesome to like watch them come to life. Um, and yeah, just thank you for coming and hanging out and reading some stuff. Goodbye, lateral. But up. But up. So thank you all for watching this read through of the script uh, episode one of Abiding Fate, and I hope to see you all again on the 27th for episode two. Bye.